congratulations on this film. How cool and empowering to see a film like this led by two complex, interesting, you know, fearless female characters. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, we... It's a, gem. <laughs> it's a gem and a gift because, you know, um, for me as a older actor, uh, there are so few roles, you know, that you can actually wrap your brain around and sink your teeth into. Um, and this was an opportunity that you just don't pass up. I mean, both roles are equally as powerful and, and you know, you don't see that. And this, this is great. You know, this is great. Kudos to, to Evan for thinking yeah. about making the film. I mean, it, I was in Candyland just to be able to be a part of it, you know? I mean, again, there's not many roles like this in Hollywood in general, you know, especially for women of color, Asian women, that's, well, I was speechless when, when I saw the script, like, oh my God, I mean, where do you get a role like this? No, <laughs> you don't. And I think you usually see these, these, um, these two characters go to men usually, right? Because, um, you know, there's been this fear in the past to present women as the complex humans that we are. And it was just so, and on a personal note, my my niece, she's very little now, so she can't see Snakehead right now, but she's half Chinese. And I have, um, I just feel like, I feel so thankful that when she comes of age, that she can see that she has you know, films like Snakehead, which you'll watch when, when appropriate to see the complexities that are possible on screen. Well, also I think right now is the right time um, mm -hmm. because it's time for uh, Asians and Asian Americans to have visibility and mm -hmm. have their stories told. Um, I'm very grateful that this is, you know, being accepted worldwide so readily. It's, it's the right time. Look at Shang-Chi, look at, you know, Kung Fu on television. I mean, those are all things that are, I never saw those films when I was growing up. They didn't exist. These characters didn't exist. These people didn't exist, but they do exist. And they've existed all my life, but I never saw them. So. Exactly, exactly. Uh, just, it's a really exciting um, and about damn time. Um, a big theme throughout Snakehead is survival. Um, and the different but necessary ways, especially which how women survive in this world. Um, what does survival mean to both Sister C and Daima? Well, for Sister C, I mean, I, I think it's for both, you know, at the end of the day, we, we survive our own way, you know, uh, what, whatever struggle we have to go through. But women usually go through survival with with families you know it's about your family of about your loved ones we sacrifice ourselves for our loved ones that's where usually women more go through more right and i feel like you you show it a lot in this movie uh, with uh daima and sister c mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and i think survival is key and um it's a decision of making those sacrifices to survive i think that both men and women make those same sacrifices. We just see them manifesting in different ways. Mm -hmm. So then the man becomes the hero and the woman becomes invisible as with conventional marriages where the wife is behind the husband. But here we're beginning to see more and more female roles, characters, real people who are actually the other half of society and we don't see that. And that's the power of this film. We have two strong female characters who are living life just as men live their lives. Mm -hmm. And we're finally being visible. Absolutely. Oh, that's beautifully said. Um, and also both of these characters are mothers and the way in which they mother and is so different, but both so fearless in their own ways. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think one of my favorite quotes of the movie, it's so good, is when you're drinking the water, remember the source. What a fantastic, what a fantastic sentiment to just apply to all different facets of life. But 
So yeah, how is this kind of a metaphor for Sister C's experience, her overall experience and journey with Daima and becoming a part of her family? Well, for her, it's just, she needed to do what she needed to do to get to her daughter, to survive on her own way, right? She, she needed money, she needed mm-hmm. power at the same time. Of course, there's something in her there's, there's this, she's driven, she's very driven. And she, 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 she wants to be on the top to get to her daughter in any way possible. And she had to sacrifice a lot for that, you know? In her mind, she already come from a very hard life, you know? So at the end of the day, you have nothing to lose when, when, when you have that. When you feel like you have nothing to lose, you just go for it. You don't really think about consequences, though she knows her consequences. You know. yeah, and I think water is the main theme throughout the whole film. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you see a lot of the water in the swimming and the in the sea and the droplets and the tears and all of those things. And water is very representative. And I think the question was asked in one of the screenings previously, you know, what does that mean? And I think that's a similar to your question. Um, Water is, I go back to the saying that Bruce Lee had, and Mm -hmm. we all know that saying, be like water. Mm -hmm. And why did he say that? And he said that because be like water is the only way that you survive. So the metaphor for that and the water that is incorporated into the film flows so smoothly because he's, you know, what Evan's done is he's supporting that philosophy of be like water. Oh, oh, so fantastic. Um, I was also just reminded when uh, you were talking about power, not to bring it back to like, usually we see male characters like this, but also I think a great thing to note is that, you know, Sister C gets roped into this, this idea of power and she gets hungry for it. And we see both Daima and Sister C that hunger for power, which we don't usually see in female characters. We don't usually see how power can sweep them away. We don't see how power can be so overwhelming. We usually see that male ego. We don't usually see that kind of female ego, which exists as well. It's, it's so interesting. Um, Jade, another great moment in the film is when Sister C sees how uh, Sister C and Daima are out in the community. And um, I believe that Daima gets something for free. She doesn't have to pay for something from a vendor. And, you know, Sister C says, oh, you're so loved. And Daima says, well, there's a difference between being feared and respected. And in that moment, you know, Daima thinks she's respected. But we're all thinking, oh, no, this woman is also very feared. In the yeah. Well, the, she is. She is. But I think with power oh, yeah. in both genders, you mm-hmm. know, assuming power also comes with the responsibility of power. Mm-hmm. And the responsibility of power for Daima is that she's responsible for all these people that yeah. she had to make suffer to come over here for a better life. So whatever sacrifices these immigrants have to come over, she also has to make up for it. And that's a responsibility that that I think the film shows Mm -hmm. because it's not just power she's hungry for. She also has responsibility for these people. Yeah, it is that beautiful mixture of respect and fear because I think that Die mom, we see that. We see that. That's why I think there's no, I don't think there's one true villain in this film. I think the villain is more, unfortunately, the way that society has exactly been that, set up. The villain is society. The mm-hmm. villain is society and 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 you know, society has created these situations, these circumstances for people to survive. I mean, this isn't just going to the grocery store and buying your food and cooking it and going home and being happy. Yeah. It's much more than that, you know, and we're, we're so spoiled here in America, but we're also very, very, you know, grateful to have all of these liberties 
So there's a fine line and balance between struggle oh, wow. and survival and, you know, being accepted by society. And if you can right, have right. all of that, then, you know, we're living in a utopia. Yeah, you can right. just swim the wave um, in the water. And like, sometimes it's tumultuous, sometimes it's nice and smooth. <laughs> there I you go right. with the water again, you know? Oh, I mean, exactly. Oh, well, con just congratulations on this beautiful <laughs> film. And, um, you you both are such legends and i i hope Thank i hope y'all collaborate again and again because the chemistry between the two of you was oh, chef's kiss it was so good <laughs> thank you so <laughs> every, much in every scene oh gosh you just um it's what's good you know good storytelling is made of so congratulations enjoy the rest of the virtual festival um and all the love coming your way and just thank you for taking the time today well thank you for thank the you so much wonderful thank you um.